Hello guys, Knuckles Up or Michael here, and today I'm back with a brand new video. I'm not gonna lie, it's 400 degrees outside. I am really tired from working all day. My legs are killing me. I'm just tired. Tired, I'm sore, and I'm sweaty. Three words that I'm not really uh, in favor of describing myself. With all these bad things in mind, I thought like, what can I do for a video today that's low effort and that's not gonna kill me uh, because I am just dying. I am just slowly and brutally dying because it's 400 fucking degrees in the <laughs> anyway i thought about it and why not do a story it's been a while since i've done a story time and i thought why the hell not let's just do it also huge shout out to my little brother's friend for leaving his epic ass gaming mouse over at our house because right now i'm using it and it's freaking baller it lights up and everything it's awesome so thanks to you because i know you're going to be watching this video now one of the things my family loves to do, we are huge into media, anything really. The only exception is kind of the news. We don't really watch that. But um, we love movies, video games, uh, TV shows that we can share, watching the game on TV, anything like that. Uh, we just love consuming media like I do with my brothers all the time. Another thing that's really huge in our family, we really like Pixar movies. Uh, like, I honestly, I do love them. They're great. They make good ones all the time even if like for example the the worst one in my opinion is cars 2 and cars 2 is even like i still like it so cars 3 comes out like four days ago and of course my family's like oh we're going to see it so we go to see it um not opening night but i believe the day after it was two days ago i'm not sure when it came out specifically but we wanted to see it two days ago and it was uh actually quite good i think it was the best cars movie to be honest i think it's tied between that one and the first one i think they're both pretty good second one shit shit but good so we're in the movie theater and like there are just problems upon problems with going to see, like, what society would consider to be a kid's movie. I think most people can look at a Pixar movie and say, like, oh, it's a, it's a children's movie because it's animated and it has, like, goofy characters and things like that. So that automatically makes it a kid's movie, which is totally fine. And I'm fine with going to see a kid's movie. That's fine. I've done that a lot where I'm like, oh, I want to see this movie, but it's, like, meant for, like, seven-year-olds. So I'm totally fine with that. That's not the problem, though. The problem is, though, I go as a teenager wanting to see these movies just to watch the movie. I don't give a shit about anything else. I just want to watch the movie. I want to sit down and I want to watch the movie. By the way, I complained about this whole thing on my Snapchat story because I was livid that day. So let's get into it. We get into the theater and at first there was, it started out pretty good. There was only like three families in there and we got there a little bit early, though. So it was going to fill in and I knew that. So everything was going fine. Uh... And we get to the the trailers. And I actually like to watch the trailers though because it kind of like lets you know what's coming up. This is where like the shit storm began. One, a lot of people came late. Way too many people came late. And this is one of the things I hate about North America and Canada and the USA in general. We're generally pretty lax when it comes to time. Like when I've visited other countries, they're very prompt with the way they end meetings, start meetings, like when you're expected on time and when you're not. It's okay to be late in Canada and in Toronto, and I freaking hate it. So we're watching the trailers, and people are just storming in the theater. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, come on. Like, get here on time. Everyone else is here on time. Just come on. Like, why are you doing that? So as I mentioned earlier, these movies are geared towards kids, which is fine. But at the same time, parents don't know how to control their children. Holy shit. The movie begins, and right from the start, we hear crying. We hear talking. We hear a kid on an iPad, like, why the fuck do you have an iPad? And a kid, like, running around up and down the aisles. I'm like, what the shit is this? So from every direction of the theater, there is some sort of noise. I just want everyone to shut up. So it was kind of on and off for, like, the majority of the movie. There would be, like, a kid crying, stop. A kid would be running, a kid would stop. And then a kid would be talking, a kid would stop. It would kind of go on for that for a while. I'm sitting next to my sister and my dad. Behind me, there's no one. Behind my sister, there is a... I assume a grandfather, he looked pretty damn old, uh, and he had a kid on his lap, and then there was a dad right next to him, and he had his son on his lap. I believe that they were both his kids, like the, the younger guy, but I mean, I could be wrong, I don't know. So basically, like, the grandfather just doesn't give a shit about literally anything. I don't even think he wanted to be there, which is totally fine, I get it, like, you don't want to see a movie, but you have to do the kids, that's fine, whatever. But this kid was, like, three years old. My problem is, why are you taking children to movies that are below the age of like four, like five and up, go ahead. But if you're th two or three, you're never going to remember the fucking movie. Why the hell would you go to a movie theater if you're two or three years old? You're never going to remember this movie. It's not going to change your life in any way, shape or form because you don't remember anything. Your brain's developing. You don't know shit. He obviously, he just didn't know how to behave because his parents just didn't teach him shit. 
So the whole time, the whole time, I felt really bad for my sister. So he's like kicking her chair in front of her. And that is like one of the most annoying things in the movie theater. Like if someone behind you is just kicking your chair, you're like, can you fucking stop? Like it's really annoying. Like once you're like, okay, it was probably an accident. Twice you're like, okay, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And then three times you start getting really upset. So my sister was getting peeved. She was getting peeved. And I wouldn't blame her. I don't blame her because if that was me, I would be pissed off. So she keeps doing this like, you know, the turnaround method where like you don't want to say anything, but like you kind of like And you just look at them for like a little bit of time and then afterwards you're like like okay i hope that sent them a message of like could you please stop so she did that a couple of times the the, the people didn't stop like it was absurd um and the whole movie too the, the kid was running up and down the aisles this is one of the kids that did this too like he would be like i don't even want to watch the movie he said it really loudly at least three times during the movie and he gets up and he runs and he runs back and forth and he runs back and forth and his dad his grandpa who was 900 years old and moved like a turtle had to chase him the whole time so bad people sitting behind us and this isn't even the worst part it gets worse so this guy's solution to his kid not wanting to see the movie okay Take him outside the theater. I'm all for that because when your kid is crying, you don't want to inconvenience everyone else, especially someone whose family and himself is upset. You don't want to piss those people off. So he walks out of the theater with his kid. Great idea. That's totally perfect. Maybe calm them down, bring them back in in five, ten minutes, shut them up, lickety doo da split, and then you're all good. Okay, that's not what happened. This guy brings him in after two minutes and he comes back with popcorn and a bag of fucking malt teasers the mall teasers are candy they're little like little chocolate wafer balls i don't know how to describe them really but they taste great which is fine but the problem is, is that they come in these bags that are like plastic and they you have to kind of like dig your hand in to uh get them which is okay but when i'm in a movie theater and i ever get one of those which is rare because i never really do i'll rip off a side so i can like pour out into my hand because that way you make no noise whatsoever and you can enjoy the fucking movie and you're not pissing off the people around you for eating really loud so this guy lets his four-year-old kid he puts so much trust in him to the point where he gives him the bag slightly open and the kid goes fucking ape shit with the bag he's just like <laughs> like the whole time the remainder of the time he had the bag of Maltesers, he literally just had his bag of Maltesers. Just at that time, I was at my breaking point because I just wanted to watch the movie. I had Crying McGee, Texty McGee, Talky McGee, and now Maltesers McGee right behind me. And it was really frustrating. Anyway, when I get mad, I know some people do different things. Like some people kind of isolate themselves. Other people get really passive aggressive. For me, I get like aggressive aggressive. And for me, that is yelling like i can yell pretty damn loud if i'm very upset like i will get up and actually flame people like I, I was actually i was about to do this i was gonna stand up and be like either control and shut up your kids or leave i was about to do that really loudly too but instead i did what what, what was one of the funniest things i think i've ever done in a movie theater to shut up anyone and it was so perfect. Now I told you, I always carry water into the movie theaters. I had a water bottle just like this, and I just got this from downstairs to show you guys. Now instead of yelling at, at the guy, instead of yelling at the guy, instead of standing up and saying anything, instead, what I did is I took this water bottle, turned around to his seat, and for five seconds went like this right in his face. Just listen to that. And then after I did, after I did that, I literally just looked at him, I was like, Anyway, it worked. Like, the guy stopped immediately after I did that, which was freaking awesome. Because if the whole movie happened, and I just hear the whole time, then I would have been really upset. I know some of you are probably like, this guy probably hates kids. I spend a lot of time with kids. I work with kids a lot at my school. I'm one of the junior school prefects just voted, so I deal with the younger kids. I'm more than fine with children. It's just when they behave children, they're amazing. When they're not, they piss me off. So, moral of the story... Please, for the love of God, teach your kids some manners, control your kids, especially when you're at a movie theater and I'm sitting in front of you. Anyway, guys, I did hope you enjoyed this story time. If you guys did, leave a like down below. Drop a comment if you have any ideas. And I haven't done one of these in a while, so it would be nice to know. Just get some feedback if you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are not. And as always, I will see you guys in the next time. Peace out.